everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Elian Jo and welcome back to another townie makeover. I love doing these and we have finally got some new townies with the new Sims 4 game pack Stranger Villa. I think there is four families I think or five living in Strangerville and I want to give them all makeovers and we're starting with the Sigworth family. I can never remember their last name. It's on the screen right now but that's a hard last name for me to remember. I've never heard it before but it has Jess, um, her husband Dylan and their daughter Christy. They're all really cute and Jess was like a pretty big part of the trailers for The Sims 4 Strangerville. Um, she was kind of the one who was possessed in the trailer. Something is going on in Strangerville and she's acting really weird. Even the household description mentions that she actually has the infected trait as well. So she has been infected with this whole thing that's going on in Strangerville. No spoilers in this video in case you still haven't figured out what is going on. Um, I did do a little let's play if you want to check that out. We did see Jess in the let's play too and I was really excited to give them makeovers. I want to do the other townies as well. Is Erwin a townie? Like does he live somewhere in Strangerville? Because now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know where he would live. Like does he have a house or is he just like He's there, but he doesn't live anywhere because he doesn't live with Alice. Then there's the Roswell household. I think that's what they're called. Who is like the mayor and his wife. And then there's Cahill, the guy who lives in the bunker in the airplane. In my head, I'm like thinking of the map. I think that's all the households that are there. So that means Erwin does not have a house. He's just chilling somewhere. So I might still give him a makeover even though he, I guess he wouldn't technically be a townie. But like, aren't all the Sims who are always there townies? I don't even know. Honestly, don't ask me. But Erwin is super cute. I really like Alice as well. All the Sims from the trailer were adorable and I really wanted to give them makeovers. And you guys have been asking for this and makeovers are some of my favorite things to do. In The Sims 4, this week has been really slow for me. I got back from the UK and honestly, I don't know, I've been really tired and not a lot of like energy this week. Hopefully next week we'll pick it back up, but sorry that there hasn't been that many videos this week, but I really like doing this video and hopefully there will be another one out tomorrow and then back to regular videos next week. Anyways, oh my God, Jess is so cute. She's actually really, really pretty. As you guys know, in these videos, I have changing their features like a little bit to make them look a little bit more like my sims a little bit more like my aesthetic in the sims 4 i'm trying to not make them look too different i still want them to look like themselves but i do change like some things about them um and jesse's really really pretty and i'm actually afraid that i might have changed her a little bit too much like i think i went a little bit crazy changing her features on her face like i mean you know just like pulling and pushing and I think at some point I realized she didn't look that much like the old Jess anymore. So I tried to like make them back to how they were. I, I think she still looks gorgeous. I just hope she looks enough like the old Jess. I think the biggest change that I did is that I made her eyes a lot smaller because they were huge and that just changed her whole face. And I also changed her like jawline maybe like a little bit and her chin. Yeah, definitely her chin. I changed that up a little bit and this is her new look. She was wearing like army clothes because she does work for the military. Um, I wanted her to have like a nice outfit though that more like represented her personal style instead of just her work clothes. So we do still have the army camouflage pattern in there. Instead of the pants, now it's on her jacket and other than that, she's just wearing all black. I see her as like this fierce independent <laughs> woman. I really like her. I think she like, like, I don't know. She's just fierce, you know, like powerful woman. So I don't know. I think she looks amazing. I like her new look. It's pretty simple, but I really like it for her. It took me so long as you saw in the little speed, um, speed criticism. I was going to say speed build. This like speed crit cast, you saw me go through a lot of different looks for her. I had so many different like tops and pants that I tried that I really liked. I had these like joggers that had the army print on them, but they just didn't go. So I like the look in the end. And then next up, we're doing her husband, Dylan, who is one of my new favorite Sims. I think he is absolutely freaking adorable. He's like a nerd dad. Like how cute is this guy? 
I love him a lot. Um, he's really cute. I barely changed anything about him. He's really, really handsome. He, <laughs> I think I changed his ears like a tiny bit and that's pretty much it. Also, obviously I changed his eyebrows. I do that almost every single time. I like his nose. He's just, he's so cute and he's such a nerd. Like he's got the nerd brain aspiration. He's a bookworm, he's a genius and he's a perfectionist, but he actually has a lot of skill points in cooking and in gourmet cooking like he's a really good cook even though it would may seem like he's more like the kind of guy who would spend most of his time at a computer he's actually like a really good dad and he's such a cute geeky dad I love him I love his glasses I change his hair a little bit I mean I think he's still pretty similar honestly he looks very similar to the old Dylan just a little bit cuter and the skin overlay like smooth out his skin as well which is what they do but I just think he looks so cute he definitely looks like one of my sims which is what I really really love about him but I just think he's so adorable so since he's a bit of a geek I wanted to give him more of a casual look I think he was wearing like a cardigan and some jeans or something but we're going for this college or like this jumper shirt oh, I don't know why does it call it that's what we call them here in Finland I don't know if that is the term in English but it's like this sweater almost how do you what do you call this but this is the one I go for I don't remember the, the name. Is it a sweatshirt? <laughs> I guess it is. Yeah, it's like a sweatshirt. And these like really chill casual pants as well. I like the pattern on the shirt. I like his converse. And he looks like a cute geeky dad. He looks like he's fun to be around and he looks like he would be or he is a great dad to Christy. I really like him. He is one of my new favorite sims and if he was single um, I would have all my girl, girl sims go after him because he seems like a catch. <laughs> and then lastly we're giving their daughter Christy a little CC makeover as well. Obviously, she's a child. There isn't that much to change about her, but I changed her just a little bit. I gave her different glasses. She actually doesn't have glasses in all her outfits. It's just in like two different looks. So I'm not sure if she actually needs them or not. It's a little bit weird how she doesn't wear them in every outfit category, but I gave her new orange glasses. I gave her this really cute uh, it's like a half braid, half ponytail. I love this hair on her. I think she looks so cute. She's such a cute child. And then since they do live in the desert pretty much, in Strangerville, it's like this like old desert town. Um, I gave her more of a summery look. I figured it would be pretty hot there most of the days. And I think she's like a fun, fun, like a creative child, bubbly. I think her creativity skill is that what it was? I think it must have been her creativity skill as a child. It was like nine, level nine or something. So really high up. So she's really creative, but she's also active as a trait. She kind of comes after her mom with that. So I don't know. I really love her and I really love how they all turn out. So if you want to download the new versions of the Sigworth family, they will be on the gallery where you can find them under my username, which is eliandraYT or under the hashtag eliandra. And give this video a thumbs Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here and let me know in the comments which families I should do next. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon and bye. This time I'm a winner. This time I'm a winner.